right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakakwadash, uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who were well and who was worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutations to you, brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, um, the brother Gabaria from an Indiana camp come back at you again with another sit down. Um, basically, I'm going to title this uh, The Power Level is our power level all right or something to that effect i'm probably not going to name exactly that but you know um basically in this sit down i'm going to compare how um dragon ball z uh the famous cartoon show ever since i was a little kid and, and even before when i was even wasn't even thought of wasn't even born it was um come out as dragon ball z um now i was just you know recently you know catching up on it and um I noticed how they all about power levels, all right, ever since Goku and um, Piccolo have fought Radix, you know, their power level has changed dramatically since uh, the Buu saga where they fought Majin Buu. Now, um, when I was uh, looking at it, I, you know, I had, had seen that um, Goku power level wasn't, you know, as, as strong as, you know, he, he once were, you know, even when he was a little kid, he, he always grew to have his power level you know max and succeeds you know which other uh life force the uh, uh, power level can't do that as far as um uh humans um i believe their power level gets to a certain degree and, and then it stops they can't get no higher to prove that is um i think krillin when krillin um when krillin got his uh full potential released by a uh, guru on planet namek he um he couldn't get no stronger after that you know he wasn't you know he couldn't ascend into you know nobody stronger so um but as far as like vegeta uh goku gohan goten and the rest of the saiyans um their power level can you know basically uh, uh go on forever you know they're basically they're, they're of a warrior race where you know they need if they need power their bodies can adapt to any type of a, a condition and a fighting and um and uh heal itself basically um matter of fact vegeta uh, actually came out with and said uh if a, a saying if a saying gets beaten to near death experience he just comes back that much more stronger so um i, I you know I, I compare that to rebuke all right if you if you went off on a scripture if you you um went off on a, a breakdown you know you get rebuked about it you know but you might get cussed out or you might just you know get a, a soft like hey brother no that's not the way it went you broke this down wrong you broke that down wrong this means this and this means that now uh looking at it you know spiritual aspect you actually just became that much more stronger because now you know what that means and you're never going to forget it again because it's by you breaking it down wrong you know you uh um by you breaking it down wrong you know for a fact that's not what's going to mean ne the next time all right so by uh, uh by you getting corrected and by by you getting rebuked on it, you're gonna just uh, uh know the scriptures that much more you know efficiently you know. So by you constantly getting rebuked, constantly getting corrected on the right on the, on the uh, straight and narrow path, you're gonna just become that much more stronger, you know. So I compare that as to fighting. You know, as many times as you lose, you know you're gonna know your mistakes and then you're just gonna come back stronger and stronger and stronger. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. I, I, I mean, I'm even going to play a couple clips, which I've seen uh, through the Dragon Ball Z series that I um, me personally that I liked uh, to compare to the uh, truth and power level, the power level and the truth. Because um, uh, I'm going to get um because if you notice, Vegeta and Goku are always training. As a matter of fact, um, Vegeta is always, you know, always in the hyperdog time chamber or in the um, pods that his wife Bulma made. He's always training nonstop, you know, and uh, Goku is the same way, you know, he, you know, he was training nonstop also because it's just in their blood, it's in their genes to train. He's good. He's really good. It looks like he's gotten a lot stronger. Well, that's what happens when you spend all your time training. We'll wait for what? He needs a sensu beam. Quiet, boy. Where is your honor? Like all pure-blooded Saiyans, Kakarot would rather die fighting than win with one of those disgraceful Sensu Beans as his crutch. Kakarot trained in the hyperbolic time chamber just as we did. Now let's see what he can do. Now, should we train? 
Absolutely, man. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that, not, that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, so what's that talking about? Rightly dividing the word of truth. Matter of fact, let me start from the scripture at the top. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God. All right. And what's that talking about, man? That means basically get into these scriptures, man, looking up words, going into the history, watching videos, you know, really get into this word, really digging down into it, man. You know, reading, listening to the word, whatever you can do to get yourself fully engrafted into this uh, uh, program, man, you need to do. All right. It says a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. All right. What's a workman, man? A workman is a person that has a job to do, you know, if uh, if I'm an artist, if I'm a painter, I'm not just going to do no sloppy work. Because they're going to be looking like, wow, this guy's, you know, this guy's painting is not really all that. You know, it's just, you know, he should be ashamed of this painting. You should be, you know, you shouldn't be ashamed of the work that you put into this thing, man. You know, you should be glad. All right. Because don't the scripture say how beautiful are the feet of them that preach, uh, that preach the gospel and bring glad tidings. You know, that's what we're doing, man. We're doing a beautiful thing out here, man. Even though it's, it's evil to the sight of the world, but we're doing actually a beautiful thing, man. And we shouldn't be ashamed of it. All right. It says rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. And what's that mean, man? Well, that means we're using scriptures when to when to, uh, when to be applied to, man. You know, right now we can't execute judgment right now. So if we see a faggot going around or we see a man without his beard, we can't go and, and, and pass down judgment, man. We're not in our time. We're not in our kingdom for that, man. So we're rightly dividing the word of truth. We could tell that brother, hey, brother, repent, grow your beard, you know, come out that uh, uh, waiver of doctrine and enlist the sound doctrine, man. Just like Goku, man. Hey, they were uh, what? They were at one point. They were all weak, and they were um, and they were uh, they really didn't know how to fight. But go uh, go uh, go a couple of years later. What you got? Goku breaking down how to uh, fight to Gohan. You know when uh, he was fighting against Cell, he said uh, uh he he was actually he was actually breaking down how to fight the Cell because because Gohan was just looking at it on his muscles. Oh wow, Dad, you're so strong. You know, your muscles, you, now you can beat Cell, your power level. And then Gohan, and then Goku said he can even go a step over before, which means he, I can even get even bigger if I wanted to. I could go one step further if I wanted to. But Goku, Goku said, "This is not the way. This is not the way to go, man. Just because you have a thousand precepts, just have a pre, just have, because I have a lot of precepts, doesn't mean, you know, I you know, doesn't mean I'm the guy. You know, you still have to learn, you still have to break those precepts down. You still got to learn how to break those precepts down. Go into the words, go into the history, apply those uh, precepts to what to um to your everyday walk, man. So it's it's good that you know precepts. It's good that you know the breakdowns. But guess what? If you're not applying those, what good does it do, man?" Faith without works is dead, man, and that's what Go and that's what Goku was t telling Gohan in a hyperbolic time chamber, man. Basically, you can have all the precepts in the world, but if you don't know how to apply them to your life and know how to rightly divide the word of truth, what's good? What good is it to you, man? You know. Um, we go ahead and get the next scripture, and um, this is um gonna be uh First Peter chapter three verse fifteen. It says, be sanctified that the Lord is in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in your meekness and fear. All right. So it says, be ready. It says what? Be sanctified the Lord in your hearts and be ready 
always to give an answer. That means if a person comes up and says, hey, why do y'all do this? Why do y'all celebrate the Sabbath? Why do y'all don't celebrate this? Why don't y'all do this? Why don't y'all do that? You're supposed to get into them scriptures, break it down, man, show them precept upon precept, man, and, 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 and make it plain upon tables as the book of Ezekiel says, man. You know, you have to get into those scriptures and answer that guy's question, man. You know, and it says, it says, be ready always, man. That means it shouldn't be a short time. Hey, just like Go, just, hey, just like Vegeta told Gohan, man, what did he say? He said, um, he said, he says, says, all this time of peace have made you weak. You know, you, you haven't, you haven't been training. You know, Vegeta and Goku was constantly training, man, even at times of peace. Uh, good afternoon, Vegeta. I hope I'm not intruding. Yeah. Look at you. When was the last time you trained? Just because things are peaceful now is no excuse to get lazy. Yes, sir. They were always training, man. You know? And Gohan was what? He was slacking off. You know? When he was fighting Deborah in the, um, when he was fighting Deborah against, uh, Bobby's ship, you know? Vegeta got mad because how, how much Gohan had got weaker than he once was when he fought against Sale, man. This Tabora guy's giving Gohan a lot more trouble than I thought he would. Nah, he's tough, but he's not unbeatable. Gohan's gotten soft. He was a lot stronger when he was a little kid. It's absurd. Yeah, he's definitely slacked off. Well, at least he got straight A's on his report card. <clears throat> I could beat Tabora. Mistake number one! Gohan at his, um... His 11th year, his, as his 11 year old, was stronger than Gohan when he was a teenager, when he was 16 or 17. Just to show you how much he stopped studying, you know, he probably stopped, when I say studying, I'm talking about spiritual aspect now. How much, I show you how much he stopped studying, you know, he probably just started f f f focusing on the world. He still had the truth because, you know, Gohan could still go to Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2. He still knew how to fight. He still knew the basics, but he, but he slacked off, man. For, that's why, and that's how why Vegeta and Goku uh, surpassed Gohan by, by such great, uh, greater means. You know, so that's why Fiji rebuked Gohan, saying, "Huh, these times of peace have made you weak, man. You know, you better get back on your studies, man. You better get back on your uh, uh, videos, man. You know, before you get too weak, and then when we, uh, when uh, uh, the greater test come, your ass is gonna get a uh, uh, um kill and end up getting killed. You know, Goku and Fiji was always on their studies, man. You know." So it says what? It says be ready always to give an answer. That a man to ask you a reason of your hope, man. So ready, man. Are we always supposed to have an answer ready, man? We're not supposed to uh, beat around a bush or or, or or send that man off like, oh, well, look, go ask my elders, man. I, I, mean, I don't really know to know, man. You know, we are a body, man. We're supposed to know everything, man. You know, that's going to, I mean, I I don't want to, I don't want to skip all the way. And the spirit telling me to, oh, I'm going to do it. You know, this is, um. This is a uh, Sirach chapter five verse fifteen. It says, "Be it says be ignorant of it says it's like it says be not ignorant of anything, a great matter or a small man." So guess what, man? That means we know everything, man. You know the scriptures in uh, Zephaniah says, "Man, what there was no guile found in our mouth, neither was a deceit, neither was they have a deceitful tongue, man." That means the people that's out here preaching this word has a hundred percent truth. Goku and Vegeta and Gohan and the rest of the Saiyans, man, they have a hundred percent strength, man, where they can't be stopped, man. You know, they have a hundred percent strength where, and then if they do lose, if they do get rebuked, guess what? They're coming back that much more stronger, man. All right, but guess what? The elect is not going to lose. The elect is not going to be weakened, man. You know. Uh, 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 I'm going to get this uh, right here in Revelations It says Revelations 1 and 3 It says blessed is he who readeth All right, It says blessed is he who readeth It's like I'm, I'm adding to the scriptures It says blessed is he that readeth All right, And what's that word readeth Let's go into it right quick Right here it says To distinguish between To recognize To know accurately to acknowledge all right so you have to know accurately to recognize to know what to use and what certain uh, in situations man that's why when um what was it called um uh, uh vegeto was fighting boo boo had uh basically went to vegeto's body and, and, and tried to control him and everything and, and and vegeto looked at him like hmm you must really think i'm an amateur you know which means that was amateur move man vegeto was vegeto was the com combination between goku and vegeta so both their intelligence together they were unstoppable man boo couldn't touch him 
You know, Boo couldn't lay a hand on Vegito, man, because Vegito was that guy, man. He just he 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 knew the breakdown. He knew the precepts. He knew how to apply the precepts, man. He Vegito was a perfect man. I can say a perfect man, but but Vegito was a perfect example of a man in this truth. What's wrong? Has your confidence finally dropped? <laughs> You know your run can't last forever. Not when I'm on guard. It's not much fun being hunted down, is it, Majin Buu? Being hunted just the way you hunted down our friends, does it? Man, you know, a perfect example of the, how the body should be. You know, matter of fact, because he, he wasn't just one man, he was actually two men put together. So the scripture says, what, two are better than one? You know, and we're all parts of the body, man. You know, so uh, so when it comes to that body, man, we supposed to be a, a one working unit, man. Our uh, uh, my um, uh, elder of this camp, Elder Demashapat, always said, man, we supposed to work, we supposed to work like a well oiled machine, man. One in un, uh, united, uh, united, man. You know, just like Vegito was a uh, uh, united between Goku and uh, Vegeta, and they became one, and they were like a well oiled machine, man. Boo couldn't even touch him. Boo supposed to have been extremely strong, way stronger than both of them put together. I mean, it was supposed to be stronger than both of them singly, but when it came together, boom, what? Boo couldn't even touch him, man. You know, he even tried little lane tactics, you know, which I, 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 I compare that to a guy that's nitpicking. He's nitpicking and everything. And we looking at him like, man, what? This is a yeah, yeah, but you guys don't know what that word means. It was like, words? Bro, what? Okay, let's get into it, man. Let's. <clears throat> you must really think I'm an amateur. Let's get into etymology, you know, the Greek word, the Latin words, you know, let's get into some Hebrew, you know, you must really think we're amateurs, man, man, bro, you know how long we've been doing this, man, not to be proudful, not to say that proudful, but come on, man, that's what Vegito looked at Boo was like, man, what, this is amateur stuff, man, you know, that's why it says, blessed who who readeth, man, you know, you got to actually get into the book, man, get into the pages, you got to look in the context, you know, <laughs> you know, shout out, you know, to the brothers out there that know what I'm, who I'm getting at, but, you know, let's go ahead. Matter of fact, Slocky, I, I gotta read. You know, I want to reread that over. You know, this is uh, yeah, Revelation chapter one verse three. It says, "Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the word of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand." Man, you know, man, yeah, exactly, man. You gotta keep these prophecies that are written in hand, man, and always keep them in your mind. You know, because the time is at hand. You know, this thing can jump off at any moment, man. We gotta be hundred percent ready. You know. A workman not to need uh, to be ashamed. All right. Um. Now this is a, 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 a now this is a first uh, first Corinthians chapter nine verse twenty five. It says, "In every man that strive for the mastery, is temperate in all things." All right. Let's. It says, "Now that do it to do, obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible." All right. Let me go back to the top today. It says, "Every man that strive for the mastery, what striving for the mastery, man." Want to become stronger than that next person. Want to become stronger. Want to become more powerful, man. So, relating that to scripture wise, what? Want to become a, a better man that you were last year, or a better man that you were yesterday, or a better man that you were uh, before you um before that old man before you got uh, before better than that old man, man. You know, you want to become better than that, man. You want to be able to striving for that mastery, man. You know. Vegeta never gave up on saying, hey, I can pass, I can pass Kakarot, I can pass Goku. I just got to believe in myself. I got to train, I got to train, and I got to train. He constantly kept training, man. You know, so what, to one day where he wants to pass Goku, man? You know, not me personally, I don't believe it never happened, but, you know, that's just my argument. But anyways, um, but anyways, uh, 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 um, yeah, man, um, Vegeta always wanted to surpass Goku, man. And Goku did what? Goku just loved to train, man. He just loved it. He just loved it because what? It was in his blood. All right. It's always in the Saiyan's blood to train, man. You know, as far as Goten, Trunks, and Gohan, they don't less train it's because they say that well, they half humans and the human half doesn't really, you know, get involved in that and everything. They they say Vegeta and Goku are pure blooded Saiyans, which they're Israelites too, man. You know. The Israelites too. They're just I, as I see. Basically, as I see, Gohan, Goku. I mean, it's like a Gohan, Goten, and, and Trunks, and all. You know them. As I see them, I see them new brothers in the truth. You know, because new brothers in the truth. You know, they're all goofy like that. Matter of fact, it says um, um it says what uh uh uh, uh 
if a man be ignorant, let him be ignorant still, man. Hey, you know, I ain't go, and I'm I'm calling new brothers as ignorant, man. But you know, I I just I, the reason why I say that is because I think, I think of um what Go Tanks said. Go Tanks was the the combination between Go Ten and Trunks, is when it was uh when they had fused together and to go fight Boo, they told Piccolo that um they told Piccolo that uh, uh they were already strong enough that. You know, the boo is no match. He can go ahead and destroy him. And, and you know, just a whole bunch of madness, man. Basically, think they all had it all. They was powerful, you know. And then, you done not knowing how to, you know, not knowing how to fight. You know, they had amateur, they had kiddish moves. So, basically, it's just like new brothers in the truth, man. You know, brothers going to come in, get all hot, you know. Want to go on a rebuke and rampage, go to their family. Want to rebuke everybody, rebuke their mother. I mean, because we did it, man, you know. I mean, me personally, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I would then almost broke my whole entire family, man, you know, so I just call it the sugar rush, you know, uh, of um, Ezekiel, where he says, eat the whole roll, where in, in my mouth it was sweet, you know, I just call it that sweet, that sweet honey, you get the sugar rush, man, you know, you gonna, you want to go and tell your woman about it, you know, everything about it, man, you know, so I compare them, they're still, even though they're still Israelites, you know, they are still Israelites because their fathers are Israelites, but those are like younger brothers in the truth, you know. But it says, um, back to the scripture, it says, but it says, and every man that strive for the mastery, man, said that's what we're doing, man. We're striving for the master. Even though we're not going to get the mastery into the kingdom of heaven, but we're still striving for it, man. You know, we still want to know as much as possible about this Bible, man. Even the elder apostles that's been here for, for, for 25 to 30 to 35 years, man, are still learning things newly, you know, are still bringing newly things out day, day by day, man, you know. It says, so what? It says, every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. And the word temperate means balance, man. Self-control in all things, man. That means you, you must keep a level-headed, you know? It says, now they do it for what? An, a, a corruptible crown. It says, but we, an incorruptible crown. What's the incorruptible crown, man? What what Freeze always want it. Freeze always want it. Immortality. Even Vegeta at one point wanted immortality. And that immortality is the kingdom, man. You know, Vegeta never lost hope that the war that, that the Saiyan race was the, the was the um the strongest race in the universe, man. He never lost that hope, man. You know, and he even proved it. He said, he said, he said, he said, what? He said, I'm a warrior. You're just nothing but a clown. You know, Vegeta always always had that pride, always had that uh, uh that 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 kingdom mentality, man. And that's how we're supposed to be, man. As far as the kingdom mentality, not the pride, but the kingdom mentality, man. You know, Vegeta always had that. You know, he always had a ruling class mentality. He always looked at everybody inferior to him. You know, even Goku to a certain degree. If you really watch it, if you really watch a show like that, even Goku, because he will always want to, he will always want to test his uh, uh, opponent's abilities. You know, not even going all out, man. Which you know, you know, hey, you know, who each his own. But, um, but yeah, man. But we all strive for that mastery, man. We all strive to get to that Super Saiyan God, so to speak. You know, um. Yeah, man. So um, also I'm gonna get this. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter uh, six, verse seventeen. It says, "Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit." It says, "Which is the word of Yahweh." All right, because yeah, because this is our word, man. I mean, this is our sword. This is our this is our training. This is our basically our uh, 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 our weapon is what the sword. I mean, which is the word of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know. The sword is our, uh, 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 the sword of the spirit is our weapon. That's the only weapon we have. So guess what, man? We got to learn how to use it, man. We got to learn how to throw it. We got to learn how to throw it, make it come back to us. We got to learn all good, uh, uh, nice, cool looking tricks to learn. So when, when we, once we get our sword, man, I mean, once we get our, um, so once, so once it comes to, once, so once it comes time to use our sword, we know how to use it efficiently, man. When Fujita and Goku trained, they just didn't come up with moves so they can never use them. No, man. The warp Kamehameha, he, Goku used that so he can use it against Cell. The Vegeta's final flash, he used that so he can use it against Cell. Uh, Big Bang Kamehameha, they used that so they can use it against enemies, man. The Kamehameha, the Gallic Gun. The uh, finish buster, all those, all those uh, are their weapons. All those they use, they train, they try to perfect that. Um, they try to perfect that. Um, how can I say? They try to perfect the. Uh, 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 um, they try to perfect that technique, and then boom, when it comes to battle, when it comes, when it's finally fine to use it, they can use it just like us, man. It says, well, we have to take that helmet of salvation and the sword of the spear, which is the word of Yahweh, man. We have to learn. They have to learn everything about our sword and use it efficiently, man. You know, we, 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 we do these things so we can get better so we can make ourselves better, man. You know, so we can in, 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 increase so we can become stronger, man. 
which that leads me to my last scripture. Um, and I'm going to end it off with this. It's, this is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 5. It says, what well, a wise man is strong, man. See, so we're wise. So, so if you consider yourself a wise man, I mean, you're supposed to be strong, man. You're supposed to be confident in this thing, man. It says, what? Yea, of man of understanding, increase of strength. So it just shows you that we're supposed to always constantly grow in this thing, man. We're not supposed to what, be weak and feeble, you know. We're not supposed to be uh, doubtful, you know, which is that's a demon. It says, "What well, a wise man is strong, yea, a man of a, a man of knowledge, increase of strength, man." So, it, so that and that's I mean, it's, I don't really need to bring that to Dragon Ball Z because they always are getting stronger, man. You know, Goku when he fought Radix versus Goku when he fought uh, 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 Golden Freeza are two totally different power levels, man. Goku when he was fighting against Radix, if he seen how he was how strong he got when he was fighting against um, Golden Freeza, he'd have been like, "What the f man." You know, and it's and it took time, man. You know, it took it took look. See, Radix Gohan was what, maybe three, four, maybe. You know, now when they fought Golden Freezer, Gohan was like in college. You know, so that literally took almost over to probably twenty years. You know, or you know, roughly around twenty years to get to attain that type of a uh, uh, strength, man. So it's not gonna come overnight, man. You have to train. You have to work for it, man. You know, and with that, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy Awasha? Rabban Shem Rakakwadash, uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Maelstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutations to you brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right? And with that, shalom and stay powerful.